Hey guys, <clears throat> for this uh, blog, I want to talk about sloped uh, tags. Um, this got me tripped up for a little while, so I wanted to push out a little blog about it. Uh, <clears throat> when you're building uh, families for uh, Revit, you have a lot of flexibility. Uh, there is a field in here called bottom elevation. Okay. Uh, so naturally, I've been trying to use that one. Uh, <clears throat> when I place that, okay, I get tag. Everything seems fine. Then it kind of dawned on me, well, is that high side or is that low side, right? So I uh, wanted to figure that out. So I started moving this thing around. You'll see what just happened there. Elevation changed. If I move it again, the elevation keeps changing. Um, it changes. You'll see this invisible leader here. As soon as I click off, that leader appears to go away. Uh, <clears throat> when I when it's randomly placed like this, it is giving the elevation of wherever that invisible leader is landing. Okay. Uh, if I turn it on, I can move it, move that leader over here to the end okay um let's see if i can get it to stay there doesn't want to stay let's expand it out maybe i have to do the free end there okay uh <clears throat> so that's kind of clunky uh to have to have that leader turned on um i want to have it off and the guys in the field need to know that we always tag the low end or we always tag the high end um, that way it creates predictability um, around these things i can't sometimes tag the low end and some tag sometimes tag the high end um, another issue is when you try to tag uh, coupling it's pretty common to not tag the pipe we'll just tag the coupling right so you'll see what i just did i tagged the coupling and I got this question mark, okay? So <clears throat> it got me really tripped up. I'm like, well, if I can't tag the coupling and this tag is giving me wrong information, uh, that's a problem, okay? Uh, <clears throat> but looking into this a little bit further, there are a couple more fields that we can use, okay? And we'll edit this one. So I made a new couple of new tags here. There is a field for bottom, and there's also a field for top, okay? Um, top, however, is going to give you the top of the pipe on the high side, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure no one tags the top of the pipe. So we want the bottom of the pipe on the high side. So we'll get into how you can do that in a second. So using that field, When I tag the pipe, it doesn't matter where it lands, okay? I can move this leader. I can not have the leader, maybe. There. Um, and I get consistency, okay? Uh, so I know that I'm always tagging the low end of the pipe. Uh, <clears throat> when it comes to the top end, the high side, Let's edit this. What we can do is we can do a calculation in the uh, family. Okay. So you see the parameter name here is BOP high side. Okay. So there is no parameter name over here for that. Uh, we I use this calculation field. Okay. You can uh, make calculations of anything over here. Okay. Um, the the biggest thing is to make sure you have the right type. So when I first did this, I did it against number. It kept saying invalid um, uh, units or something like that. So I had to use length. Okay, so I'm doing a calculation of two length fields, which you know makes sense. So looking at what this looks like, uh, this is the name of the parameter, length, 
and then formula, okay? So top side minus the outside diameter. That gives me the bottom side uh, BOP on the high side of the pipe, okay? So using this uh, family, let's see here, we can go, we'll turn the leader on here, okay? So this will give me the bottom of pipe on the high side, okay? So what I can do, uh, what I can do now, right, now that I've got that figured out, um, I can come in here and change my what family I want my uh, tools to use here. So you say the low side. Okay, so this will create some predictability uh, when you're tagging your model. Okay, so we'll click elevation. Okay, so as you go through, the, the nice thing about uh, this family, uh, and I almost forgot to bring it up, is that it does work on uh, the couplings. Okay, so if I want to tag the bottom elevation of the coupling, uh, it does work on the couplings. Okay, whereas that other field uh, did not. Okay, so uh, definitely, unless you're gonna, unless you plan to tag the elevation at um, you know grid line intersections or things like that probably going to want to stay away from using that other field uh, if you have a good reason to use that other field feel free to leave comments i'd like to know what it is um, hope you guys find this helpful